Yo, what's up my dogs? I hope you guys are doing good. So, I literally recently sold my microphone. I used to work with the Torsen L22, which is the equivalent of the DLX from Universal Audio. And I, how we say, downgraded? I downgraded to the <laughs> Audio Technica 80-2020. I didn't mind it, because I was able to record like pretty, pretty nice song with it. And I was surprised by the quality. Then recently, I upgraded to the Nerman TLM 103. I heard a lot of good stuff about this microphone, and I even think on my um, with the Towson, I was able to emulate the TLM 103, and I kind of like the sound of it. I wish I still have the Towson so that I could have made a, vid like a comparison video of the emulation version of that microphone and the, the microphone itself. But still, it's fine. What I'm gonna try to do today is show you how this microphone perform and compare it with the AT2020 and you guys gonna decide for yourself if you rather buy this save couple bucks or buy this and be in the like professional music stuff you know production side of this stuff so we're gonna see how it sounds let's go I got both mic plugged in I don't have uh, two uh, microphone stands so I'm just gonna hold hold the microphone in my hand and perform the only thing is I had on my preamp I had the same settings but I think it's not the right thing to do because I realized the Neumann doesn't need that, many, that much gain, gain in order to have like some level. Green grass every day because I pray for that, because I pray for that, because I pray. <sighs> I know I'm not a good singer. I'm trying. But I think I had a good performance in order to review this. So let's go to the laptop now. So right now I'm going to play it with the Audio Technica version. Green grass every day, cause I pray for that, cause I pray for that, cause I pray. Follow me, cause Jabi bless, Jabi bless. You already know it's gonna be for love, we do this shit. Don't let go, for God we pray. Hallelujah, Jabi. Green grass every day, cause I pray for that, cause I pray for that, cause I pray. Follow me, cause Jabi bless, Jabi bless. You already know it's gonna be for love, we do this shit. Don't let go, for God we pray. Hallelujah, Jab bless, Jab bless, Jab bless. Yo, there's a big difference though. I'm still impressed by the way the 802020 is so close to the TLM though. But that's the thing though, I'm not processing yet. As soon as I start I start processing, you will see that some the some one of the microphones is not won't be able to hold off. You know what I mean? That's how you know like you kind of want to invest in good quality mic. Because as soon as you start putting or stressing the mic, like with equalizer or compression or all the stuff, you'll start seeing the imperfection of the microphone, you know. Oh, but this this is actually crazy. So what I'm gonna do now. Just because I don't want to go crazy on them, I'm going to try to process the uh, the TLM as if I was mixing this song, you know, quick, real quick, so that you can listen to it in the context with the beat and use the same processing on the AT2020 and see how it, how it reacts. Okay, let me try to find the, beat, the key of the song. Okay, it's telling me it's in G major, so I'm gonna send it to my keys. I will bring the key in here. Yeah, okay, I wanna work on the TLM first, so here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the Marley in here. Turn it on. Yo, it's so crazy. So the thing is, when I, you know how I mix, I'm, I'm mixing the boss kind of, and I try to put some plugin on my master boss. So I'm gonna bring those plugin back here now. There we go. I like those plugin. Like it brings some surveillance to my mix all the time. So one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off the gate on the TLM just because I'm curious to see if there's a noise or not. Green. Yo, that's mad. Okay, there's a noise, but like, it's not crazy. Green grass every day, cause I pray for that, cause I pray for that, cause I pray. Follow me, cause you cannot share. Yeah, there's a noise, but it's not crazy. So let me bring back the gate. Share. 
Yeah, the gate does his stuff. So cool, 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 cool. So bring back the contest. Shit. Don't let go for God we pray. Hallelujah, ja bless, ja bless, ja bless. Hallelujah, ja bless, ja bless, ja bless. Yo, this is crazy. Yo, the TLM is so warm. Okay, now same process. I'm turning off the mix tool. I'm bringing this on that, and I'm bringing the melee on this. I'm not doing a crazy mix. I'm just like. Making sure the equalizer is good, the compression is subtle, you know, and I have some preamp, and that's it. So the, that's the TLM 103. So now this is the AT2020. Follow me, cause God be blessed, God be blessed. You already know it's gonna be for love we do this shit Like I feel like the uh, AT2020 is lacking like some low end frequencies and some top high end And the thing is I'm not even stressing the microphone yet So I'm pretty sure if I stress the TLM103 I will be able to get so much out of it Yo that's so interesting like I'm so excited I pray follow me cause God be blessed God be blessed You already know it's gonna be for love we do yeah, it's like it's lacking some stuff. Now let's check with the TLM. I pray, follow me, cause God be blessed, God be blessed. You already know it's gonna be for love, we do this shit. Yo, the TLM is so full. So you guys saw the video. I mean, you, I mean, you guys saw the review. You guys saw the comparison and stuff. So you let me know what you think about this. Which mic would you go with if you were buying a mic today? The AT2020 or the TLM 103? Keep in mind though, you're the only one who can decide for yourself. I can't make you make your decision, but based on what you heard and based on the experience, you can decide. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, put some comment. See you on the next video, guys.